Well, we're here at Lawrencefield on a Saturday bank holiday, and I'm here to test these boots, which are Scarf and Chimeras. So um, I've been employed by Epic to try out my no hands climbing and also um, climb one of my old routes. So I'll be interested to see how that goes. Do you know, in all honesty, I can't actually remember the first time that I did no hands climbing. I think the first time I started using less limbs was when I hurt my hand and I was climbing with one hand. You know, I, I did um, Kirkus Corner, which is not exactly a slab, an asp. It's really that I climbed everything in the peak and I was looking for new ways of enjoying myself when I went out. <laughs> Scarpa Chimeras. Um, they're made from a mixture of goat and lion and they come out like that, which is surprising, isn't it? I like them. They're uh, more comfortable than the squeezy boots I've used before, which I've never really got on with. I mean, I've got strong feet because I've been climbing for ages and like slabs, and I was thinking, you know, you don't need this mechanical help from a boot. But um, I'm actually, would swallow my pride a little bit and say they are actually quite helpful. These worked pretty well straight out of the box, so I was quite surprised. At the fear of looking like I've been employed to promote these, um, I'd say they're really quite good. Okay. Let's oh, relax a little bit. The thing about calling it traditional climbing is it's, it's only really traditional climbing if, if you feel yourself part of the tradition. And for me, when I first came to Sheffield, John Allen, who recently passed away from a climbing accident, um, took really good care of us, you know. And we used to go out here, and particularly to Stanage, and try lots of different, different routes together. And then we would all try and pretend that we didn't have a new route, and then we'd go missing. <laughs> <laughs> and John would be trying one thing and I'd be trying another. And a bit later on we'd, we'd try each other's routes. It was amazing meeting John after the affection I'd built up for his lines through the actual rock he'd climbed and through seeing pictures of him and uh, the intensity on his face and the, the style with which he did things. So we're here at Bamford Edge which is on a different type of grit from Stanage and that. It's more akin to kinder grit. It's a dual tiered edge. I've done about five new routes here. Over on the buttress on the right, I've done a route called Sterling Moss. And then on the lower tier, I did a lovely scoop called the Egg, which is E46A. I think I did the Salmon in 1984 for probably like April or May, I think. It was quite a sleepy edge bamp for them. It was still sort of, I'm not sure you're allowed to climb on there actually. I think you had to talk to the gamekeeper, which people didn't do. So it was a little bit hush hush there. Okay. Yeah. And so the salmon had runners on it, so I wasn't going to hit the ground. It actually felt quite mellow. I think I gave it E66C, I think it's given E7 now. And I just remember moves come at you quite fast. Today, the moves on it actually came really quite fast. So I've been up here last, the, the, the crack has disappeared, how strange. And yet suddenly there it is again. Yeah, it was interesting to climb in, you know, one of the, the new generation of rock climbing boots. You know, I grew up in um, Dunlop Green Flashes and EBs, which I've got a real affection for. I like the smell of them, like getting into an old car. But this guy Mirror was like, you know, a little sports car from the modern era. And, you know, I enjoyed climbing in them. I think it is, has got a lot of very good qualities. I really like the 
the way the rubber kind of bites different forms and kind of sits on them. The rounding and the way it squeezes your boot and the toe edging at the front, you know, sort of makes it a very precise boot. I think the Scarpa Chimera is a, is a very effective boot if it suits the type of climber you're going to do. The heel is good, they edge really well and yet you can still smear in them. So as a sort of high performance compromise, they seem you know, pretty, pretty amazing really. It didn't flow like I did before. And that's why I called it the salmon because you know you you do you you jolt and jounce from one move to the next and each jounce links to to the next so the salmon sort of seemed quite a nice name for it but today I found myself a little bit marooned in the end it went all right and I'm glad I did it